Ladies and gentlemen, here's my mommy and daddy from my friend from that. Take a little advice from the one who knows. Dye your hair and have someone fix your nose. Call your boss and get yourself out of that job. Slob, take a little advice Watch your mouth and don't smoke cigarettes Buy some clothes, look smart, consolidate your debts Have no worries, no cholesterol and no regrets Take a little advice, how's it gonna hurt? Sell your house, scrap your car and burn that shirt Don't you think it's high time you split from your wife? It's your life, take a little advice Get a penthouse apartment and live alone Lots of girls you can call on the telephone Show the world that you've got a mind of your own I'm just a friend and it means nothing to me But where else can you get this kind of advice? If I can help, I can make you smile Straighten up, sharpen up now and live in style With my expertise, you don't need to think twice Well, don't get mad, can't you take a little advice? Wait a minute, here's the ball I can't believe it. Right in the middle of the fairway. Ha, ha, pretty good. It's over here. I found it. I found the ball here. It's right here. That's the ball? Right in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> it is. Right smack dab in the middle here. Not in the sand trap, not in the woods. Right up the old wazoo. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. All right. <laughs> All right, okay. What do you got there, forward? Forward, yeah. Well, I mean, we're still a ways from the pin, eh? Gotta be 165 yards. Give me a break. It, that's not 165 yards. Don't you know anything about golf? Hey, eh? That's 163 yards. Okay? Well, excuse and, uh, well, me. Excuse you, sure, fine, but that's not a forward shot. All right? Okay, well, what would you suggest? A seven iron? A seven iron in this wind? There's no wind! That's exactly what I mean. I have to tell you everything? Well, I don't know. Okay, what do you think? A six iron? Okay, look, here's what we can do. We can play a six iron and, and fade it. Just fade it right into the, to the stick. Yeah. Uh, we, could go, we could go to five iron, hook it. Hook a five iron. Uh, we could hook a five iron, bring it in and hook it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Kind of a hooker kind of a shot. We go with a four iron. What we do with a four iron, I, I would suggest top spin. And what we do is we hit the top of the hill, top spin and roll down onto the green. We could go with a three iron and... Uh, it's getting dark. We could put back a lot of backspin on the three iron yeah. and kind of fly it to the green and let me play among the stars. And it would, I think with the backspin, it would bite into the green. Maybe we, I should go and get supper. We could uh, go with a two iron uh, or we could putt. We'd have to really swack it though, I think, to putt it. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Well, Come on. All right, all right. I think I think the thing to do is to go with a four wood on this. <laughs> go with a four wood. Or just take it right. That's what I said in the first place. A four wood, a perfect four wood shot. Look, let me tell you something. Let's not forget who's the golfer and who's the caddy. And there's something else you should know, Missy. If you can't remember advice, then forget it. 
Now get your buns over here and hit this ball. I'll never caddy for you again. Hope not. Oh. <laughs> If I can help, I can make you smile Straighten out, sharpen up now and live in style It's a joy for me to help someone else Cause frankly, I've never been able to do it myself My friend. <laughs> Thank you, and please welcome our guest tonight, Mr. Gord Ward So get me a rocking chair Now when I get the blues So get me a rocking chair Yeah, the blues overtake me Gonna rock right away from here Now when I get lonesome I get on the telephone Baby, I get lonesome I get on the telephone While I'm calling my baby Telling my I'm my way back home I don't care if I die Flip, flop, fly I don't care if I die But don't ever leave me Don't ever say goodbye Like a Mississippi bullfrog Sitting on a hollow stump Like a Mississippi bullfrog Sitting on a hollow stump I got so many women I don't know which way to jump Give me one more kiss and hold it a long, long time Give me one more kiss and hold it a long, long time I'm Holding that kiss like I feel it in my head like wine Now flip, flop, fly I don't care if I die Flip, flop, fly I don't care if I die But don't ever leave and don't ever say goodbye sermon concerns the interpretation of dreams, something many of you have had right here in this church. It seems there was a man named Walter who lived between the Green Mountains and the Valley of the Sand, where the people would come down to wash their shorts in the ocean. And Walter was an wealthy man. He had never known poverty, although he had occasionally dated her sister. He did not know what it was to be poor, to eat snow and mixed gravel, and to live in an amity box. For Walter was never forced to live close to the vest. 
Most of the time, he lived three or four feet in front of the vest. And yet, he was a troubled man. Every night, he had the same dream. So he summoned three prophets to tell him what the dream meant. And he said, In my dream, I see five fatted cows lounging around an above-ground pool playing backgammon. And suddenly, a skinny cow leaps out of the pool. It's a reverse one-and-a-half gainer in the pike position, degree of difficulty 2.6. <laughs> then the skinny cow eats one of the fat cows. Two of the remaining cows drive over a cliff in a Ford Pinto. One of the other cows walks to the barn, and the other one gets there 30 minutes later. Now tell me, gentlemen, please, what does this mean? And the first prophet said, it means you're obviously on drugs. <laughs> and the second prophet said, it means you should not have pizza just before Betty buys. <laughs> but the third one was a fisherman, a net prophet. <laughs> and he said, the five fat cows means that you're going to get lucky sometime in the next five years. When the skinny cow eats the fat cow, that means your Aunt Beulah's joining Weight Watchers. The two cows going over the cliff in a pinto tells me it'll be a bad year for lemons. The cow that walks to the barn means there'll be a gas shortage, and the one that's a half hour late is Newfoundland. Well, Walter was so amazed that he wrote the man a generous bonus check. And yet, the man never cashed the check. He understood dreams, but he didn't understand money. And so I say unto you, and you can put this one in the bank, verily, 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 life is but a dream, but Creskin would be nowhere without a good agent. Keep the faith. Amen. Incidentally, maybe you noticed not too many people are showing up there for those sermons. I noticed that. If any of you would like to join the preacher, just write to Our Lady of Donations Church. Stop! Anywhere it. USA. Maybe it's time to hear from our soloist. <laughs> oh, thank you. She's not our soloist. She's going to sing a little song for us called White Rhythm and Blues. Here's more.
But the words just stick in my throat Honey, don't you think that somebody like me Might hurt much more than it shows Just send me black roses White rhythm and blues Somebody who cares when you week at the Comedy Club to see our friend Ron Nielsen. I thought I'd do a nice piece here, uh, but I'll be Earl Garner. It's an old tune. It's a tune called Misty. Not bad. <laughs> Now this is Donald Duck's impression of Marie Chevalier.
atmosphere And you hear things you'd never hear before When you hear the hereafter Moans and groans and strange perverted laughter <laughs> Screams of pain in the moonlight Clanking chains around midnight Bad wings flap on a night flight for two Is that a ghost you see in the bedroom? Checking out the headroom You can close the door But he's just passing through Once you're dead Things will tend to drop off Just to make a living's pretty stiff You're gone You go to your favorite haunt, but you hold your booze. And when he stumbles out of the bar, you make sure he can't start his car. You put lipstick on his collar, perfume on his necktie, too. The rest of the plan is great, cause all you have to do is wait. When he gets home, he'll be joining you. Cause he's a dead man too Thank you and Help us thank Jordan Ward and Ron Nielsen Are we really here?